tonight on the show. Music, movie, sport, and of course, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hey, thank you very much. Let me ask you, uh, in person, I'm much better looking, right? I didn't want to say anything. It doesn't I... matter if I'm much better looking. You're right, let's end the show! It's a big night because not only have we got a great lineup for you, but hey, it's the start of Euro 2016! <laughs> that really is. It's Friday. Yeah. And just checking. Yeah, England's still in. <laughs> <laughs> just. Good luck, England. And in the interest of impartiality, good luck, Wales. Good luck, Ireland. Good luck, Northern Ireland. Viewers in Scotland have their own programmes. <laughs> It's just the start of a big summer of sport, and later in the show, we'll be meeting the British boxer who's on her way to the Rio Olympics as the reigning Olympic, World, Commonwealth, and European champion. Nicola Adams will be joining us later. Yes, she will. I know. Plus, we'll have music from the wonderful Tom O'Dell. Yeah. All right, let's get the guests on. For over 30 years, this actor has delighted us in films like The Fly, Jurassic Park, and The Grand Budapest Hotel. Now he's back in Independence Day resurgence. Please welcome the great Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> there he is. Hello, folks. How lovely to see you. Hello. Hello. Come sit down. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Saving the planet alongside Jeff. This Aussie heartthrob has gone from home and away to the Hunger Games and become one of Hollywood's brightest new stars. Please welcome Liam Hemsworth! Yeah! Hello! Really nice to meet you. Hello, come in, sit down. Yeah! Yeah! And this man is quite simply the biggest box office draw in the world right now. He's a Scorpion King, he's Hercules, he's the people's champion. It's Dwayne The Rock Johnson! They still love you. They still love you. Come in, Hello. Hi. Before you sit down, I think I'm very, this is the tallest couch we've ever had. <laughs> Please, everyone, sit down. I feel like a child, an old child. <laughs> uh, very welcome, all. Lovely to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Great. See Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. How do we how do we sit on this thing? We we lean back or should we sit forward? Well, or? lean back for now. Kind Come of an, on. Kind yeah. of an odd little couch to have on a show. I know it is. Well, we don't want people to get too comfortable. That's, yeah, the, that's why. Quite awkward. Right? <laughs> well, good. That'll keep you on your toes. I know what you mean. You, it doesn't have any. It doesn't have any. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to figure it out. I don't want to, to seem too laid back. You know? I want to no. feel comfortable, but I don't know if this is the. No, the do you know what it is? Here. Do you know what it is, gentlemen? You are all too tall for that couch. <laughs> <laughs> My short guests love it. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. This is like a lumbar thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah but you've got, look what you've got. You've got a nice. Uh, <laughs> I live here. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to pick a fight. Yeah. So. Oh. So we've got three big movie stars on the couch. You're all in big franchises. I mean, Hungry Games, Independence Day, Jurassic Park, all your shows. But now, when you look at pictures of you as teenagers, mm -hmm. it seems, I don't know about this, so unlikely that <laughs> success will play any part in your life. <laughs> <laughs> now, unbelievably, this is Dwayne in high school. Wow. You look 36 wow. years old. <laughs> No, he's gotten younger. And that's my porn mustache, I think, that gives it away. That's... Look at that. But did everyone think you were a teacher? The... No, and this is a true story, uh, because I moved around a lot following my dad, and every new school, especially when I turned 14, 15, 16, during this time, everyone thought I was an undercover cop. <laughs> So I would go into these high schools. I've switched high schools four times when, throughout my high school years, and they thought I was an undercover cop. They thought I was a narc. I, there was, I didn't have a lot of friends. No play with the ladies. Wow. I know. Oh. I know. No, I don't believe it. You must have. Come on. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. I was Although, killing them. Really? But look at <laughs> that sideburn. You know, you know, that sideburn is very high. high. It's, you yes. went with the high sideburn. Well, the, the, by the way, it's, 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 it's,
I went this sideburn is only because I just started to learn how to shave. Oh. Look how high it is. Yeah. Ah. You yeah. love shaving. <laughs> I, I just didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, now, the next picture, this is incredible. That, so there he is, Hollywood heartthrob, sex symbol, glamour, <laughs> sexiest man in the world. Wow. Who could have guessed? <laughs> who could have guessed looking at this? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I saw that. Oh. How old are you? It's that moment where I like, I should probably smile with teeth. <laughs> Mouth reduction since then. I mean, <laughs> it, 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 it's most of your. You look like a hinged person. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a yeah, lot right I there. felt like I was a pretty cool kid in high school too. How like... old were you there? No, oh, probably two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> You had that thing that a lot of people, I think, have that embarrassment of that their parent is a teacher in the school. But you took that embarrassment and you took it to a, a different level with your mom as a teacher. Yeah, I had my mom for uh, personal development slash sex education. <laughs> that, that's terrible. You should have been excused that class. Learnt a lot, learnt a lot. <laughs> 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 no, the, the, I remember it coming up and they're like, yeah, you're going to have your mum for a sex, sex education. And then the first class we had together, uh, she handed out these, these cards to everyone that had some form of sexually transmitted disease. And for whatever reason, she felt the need to pick me first and stand up. And she said, Liam, what do you have? And I said, <laughs> well, mum, I have chlamydia. <laughs> Thanks for this. This is awesome. <laughs> and, and Jeff Goldblum, you look beautiful. You look lovely. You look like a very sensitive young man. Here he is. Oh, <laughs> God. I'm saying, there's poetry. There is a beat poetry going on. Really? <laughs> oh, thank you. How old are you there? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Geez, this is, um, I don't know. You know, that's middle school, as they call it. I'm junior high school. What am I, 15 or 14? Wow. Because you look so young. But you have been a big movie star for like 30 years, <clears throat> it's just crazy. <laughs> but you are one of those strange stars that people kind of get obsessed oh. by. And the internet, <laughs> they, well, no, yeah, the internet yeah. loves Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. So many things of yours have hit the internet and then just taken off. Like this, <clears throat> this, I think this was the first one that became a thing. Yeah. The Jeff Goldblum <laughs> is watching you too. <laughs> Have you seen that? I know I became aware of that. I don't know how they how they. Well, I think they did. But you print it off and then you put it on bathroom stall doors. Yes. Which I'm, tem <laughs> I'm tempted to do it. It's good. It's a very good look as well. Um, and then, of course, because your name is Gold Bloom, yeah. Bloom, yeah. Uh, people have turned you into flowers. There's there are literally hundreds of these. Oh, I've only seen one. I haven't seen any. But oh, okay. Well, have you seen this one? one? There you are on a sofa. <laughs> oh, no, I have not seen that one. That's uh, crazy. There, we've, there's Jeff as a daisy. There you are. <laughs> but this is my favorite. This is Jeff Dandelion. <laughs> <laughs> There's one picture from uh, Jurassic Park. Quite a sexy, sexy shot of Mr. Goldblum. Yeah. Uh, there it is. And uh, this, this has been, people have latched onto this picture. Do you know this, right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen a bunch so of this is So this has been turned into an oil painting. How beautiful is that? <laughs> Uh, it's been uh, turned into a, a cartoon, complete with Barney. This is the one that people really like. They've taken Sam Neill from when he's uh, kind of rubbing the, the so dinosaur thing mm -hmm. and put him in there. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. Uh, that's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. You can get a vi They have a it has a video, you know, so you see me breathing and he's going up and down. <laughs> and, 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 a lady called Beatrix on uh, uh, Twitter tweeted Sam Neill to say, hey, are you aware of this? It is excellent. To which you replied, I am. It is stomach churning. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sam Neill. I haven't seen him. Hi, Sam Neill. I haven't seen him in years. I'd love to run into him. Well, he's lying on your belly in, in, some, <laughs> in some virtual world. And this will uh, depress and delight you in equal measure. It is 23 years since Jurassic Park, which oh. seems crazy. Wow. Crazy. But you didn't die, did you? No. So you could have been in that new one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was available, yes. Why, I, 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 that'll make another one. You'll be in that yeah, one. Yeah, no, I had my, you know, I was very nourished <clears throat> by two, two. I had a big, big meal, big satisfying meal. <laughs> <laughs> and the classic uh, John Williams theme. Yes. yes. Now, I heard that someone sent you some lyrics. Yeah. 
to this. Yeah, you want to sing? Here's a sing along. Learn that you you know the tune. It goes da ba 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 ba. That's the tune, John Williams tune. Somebody sent me these lyrics. In and you're going to sing this. Ready? So learn learn this right now. Listen up. In Jurassic Park, scary in the dark. I'm so scared that I'll be eaten. And follow me. Ready? One, two, three. Let's let's do the music. So cue the music. In Jurassic Park, oh, scary in the dark. I'm so scared that I'll be eaten. That's it. Beautiful. Very good. Okay. They were excellent. They're very good. Uh, now, Dwayne Johnson, your new movie, Central Intelligence, yep. it, it, its premise is that idea of people from high school and yes. how they transform and become different people. Sure. Well, you know, in the movie Central Intelligence, it, uh, all of our high school years, very transformative years, and in this case, I was unmercifully bullied throughout high school, and I was, uh, I was obese, and uh, finally, when I'm 17 years old, I get thrown out in front of all the kids in, at school, uh, completely naked, and I quit school, and uh, I decide to leave and go turn my life around. And the movie picks up sort of 20 years? 20 years later. later. And it's Central Intelligence. It's out on the 29th of June. Yep. And it's you and Kevin Hart. Now, I love movie strap lines. Uh, this is a very good one. Uh, saving the world takes a little heart and a big Johnson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoever thought of that deserves a bonus. Uh, That's good. That's well, good. that would be me. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> but I did on this show, yes. <laughs> and now, but it's a, a really funny movie. I was saying this to yeah, you. Yeah, thank other. you. It's, it's you and Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's been on the show. He's yes. such a funny man. Yes. So I kind of thought, oh, Kevin will be the jokes. You'll be kind of the straight guy in it. Sure. But you're not. Like, you get lots of jokes in this. We movie. flipped it. We flipped it. So it was the model that everybody is used to, where you have the biggest comedic rock star in the world and Kevin Hart, and you got a guy who isn't used to being uh, uh, in comedies all the time, and but who could be funny every once in a while, and we completely flipped it. So it was a great challenge, and we rolled the dice, and it wound up being fantastic. No, it really is. It's yeah, properly, it is properly funny. Well, listen, we've got a clip. Uh, this is you having a sort of heart-to-heart -heart with Kevin Hart. Yeah. I'm talking about the fact that I don't feel like I'm the hero of my own story. That's... How are you not the hero of your own story? No one else can be. Yo, CJ, I gotta be honest with you, man. I mean, all this talk about Calvin Joyner not feeling like he's a hero? It's crazy talk, man. No, no, it's not. You were the best thing about high school. I'll always believe in you. Yo, do you remember those backflips you used to do? crowd would go crazy. I was there, too. I'm like, what? How's he do that? How did you do that? I don't know. I just did it, man. Exactly. So do it now. No, no, no. You're crazy. No, no. What's that? What are you talking about? What's what? Golden Jack. No, stop it. Golden Jack. OK, stop it. Golden Jack. All right. Golden Jack. I'm not going to stop until you do the Golden Jack flip. Okay. Golden Jack. Right, everybody settle Shut down. Up. Settle down. No, the crowd wants a Golden Jack flip. And they're going to get a Golden Jack flip. You go, girl. <laughs> That was so close, Jack. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And in the film, your character, you, you take back, you reclaim the fanny pack, or what we'd call a, a bum bag. Bum bag, yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. I do. Well, it started with this picture. I have an infamous picture of me um, in my 20s, and I was just owning this look. I had a turtleneck. I had mom jeans on. I, had, I was wearing a fanny pack. I think we've, pack. Got the, we've got the picture. Here. Oh, no. There, there you are. <laughs> it's a, it's a strong look. It's, it's something. It's a strong look. And this, oh. was, this was you being serious, yeah? No. Oh, yes. Yeah. I think I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is full on. Yeah. And are you aware that this has now become a sort of fancy dress outfit? Like, people do this. They do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. as a joke. Yes, like, uh, it's so crazy. Seth, Seth Rogen was on the show, yeah. and he showed us his version. Here's Seth Rogen as it. <laughs> uh, uh, that's my guy. Uh, then there's just a, a random man, but very good eye for detail. See, he's, he's got the tissue, the tissue under the elbow, which you have here. It's because by, <laughs> let me just give the audience context as to what that is. The, the, what I had my arm on was very dirty. So I thought, I need a tissue, please, to protect the turtleneck. Yeah. That's it. That you sense, must have right? a beautiful home. <laughs> <laughs>
And uh, it's not just adults. No, young fans are attracted to it as well. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and again, again with the tissue. I love the Rolex. The tissue, well. yes. Yeah. And actually, uh, some other people have done it as well. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> yes, look good. Uh, yeah, look at that. I want a party. Got a party with those guys. Yes. <laughs> the three of you should dress up and go out in London tonight. Yeah. The paparazzi would go hysterical. I'd be like, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, uh, another big film tonight. Uh, after 20 years, we've waited 20 years, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to get the sequel to Independence Day, and it's called Independence Day. Resurgence. <laughs> Independence Day Resurgence. <laughs> and it stars uh, Jeff and Liam, and it opens on the 23rd of June. And, like, Jeff, you were in the original. 20 years is a long time to wait. Presumably, you just thought this was not happening. Yeah, I didn't even think of it, you know. Uh, but uh, people liked the first one. And then they called me a few years ago, and uh, Roland Emmerich, who directed the first one, is directing this one. He's a brilliant director. And uh, said that Liam is in it, uh, who's uh, I've enjoyed, a wonderful actor. And uh, Bill Pullman. <laughs> Hey, he's a wonderful actor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it's a weird, weird place to laugh, guys. <laughs> that's fantastic. Semi offensive, but that's all right. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> It's just fun to laugh. <laughs> in the first movie, we're talking about the movie now again, uh, Independence Day, uh, the world was saved from an alien invasion. So what happens this time, guys? <laughs> well, we don't want to give anything away. <laughs> But there's trouble again. There's trouble uh, again. There's definitely yeah. some trouble. It's bigger. It's much yeah. bigger. Huge. It's bigger, bigger trouble. Much Huge. bigger trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it takes some brave and some smart people to get us out of it once again. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, you, you, <laughs> you did, like, this is so weird. Can you work together very closely? And, Liam, it sounds like you took your work home with you. I did, yeah. I, my, my work affects me in my home life also. <laughs> and, um... I had terrible nightmares that um, Jeff and I were running away from aliens. Planet got attacked by aliens. This is legitimate. I actually had dreams that, that Jeff and I were running away from aliens really? together. <laughs> we weren't fighting them, we were just running away. <laughs> what happened? Did anything ha ha Did they get us or was it...? Um, it, you know, I'm just one of those... Probably, we probably got stuck in the mud like most of my dreams where you can't move and, you know, they keep getting closer and closer right. and eventually you wake up in a sweat and... He's told me about this before. Screaming, I have terrible nightmares yeah. most of the time. No, I'm sure. He screams and has, gets pa paralyzed, can't move and stuff. Do you, have night, do you remember your dreams? Do you have bad dreams? I really don't remember, no. I, really? This is, you eat too much cheese before bed. That's the problem. <laughs> I do. That's some shit. I don't really? eat dairy. Yeah, you should eat dairy. I don't, I don't eat you meat or dairy. Yeah. So, eat know, cheese. Uh, maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Wow. Listen, you, you brought in a really exciting clip, uh, terrifying for us that live in London, but uh, this is the two of you trying to escape the first wave of attacks. Yes, yes. Must come down. No! Oh, 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 oh. Don't worry, we're in a control die. Falling, it's called falling. No, control die. smashed to shit in these films. <laughs> we never survive. <laughs> and, and you now, Jeff, have a kind of strange connection to Independence Day. I do? Yes, you do. How so? You're a, you're a child. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Do, yes. Doting father down the end. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
on Independence Day, I was I, I got married a year or so ago to uh, Emily uh, Livingston, now Goldblum. We've been together about five years. She was in the Olympics. Oh wow, nice. Uh, for Canada, she did uh, rhythmic gymna gymnastics, and we had a baby. We were uh, pregnant. We were supposed to have a baby. It was uh, the uh, due date was July fourth, and then we shot this movie in Albuquerque. And uh, anyway. We had it on July 4th. We had it on uh, Independence congrats, Day. Congrats, buddy. Oh, oh nice. 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 I do, yeah. 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 Six months old. Oh, oh, you do? Yeah. Six months? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Congrats. Thank you very much. Boy or girl? Uh, a boy. Nice. Charlie Ocean. Oh, Charlie nice. Ocean, nice. yeah. Cool name. Yeah. And now, because yeah. obviously filming and, and action sequences are, are dangerous, you know, yeah, you can sure. get hurt. But Liam Hemsworth, you were in all these, uh, you know, action sequences with, you know, young, strong people, but it was in Expendables 2 that you got quite badly hurt. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, we, we were doing this scene with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and, uh, <laughs> lovely guy, wonderful guy. <laughs> Cuckoo. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> So we, so we, ha we have this, this, this scene, and yeah, I know what you're <laughs> at one at one point in the scene, he he has a moment where he supposedly kicks this knife into my chest, and uh, we did a bunch of takes, and on this one particular take, uh, he gave me a full Van Dam kick to the chest. Wow. And I dropped to my knees and everyone called cut. <laughs> like and for everyone, one. Yeah, yeah, like proper, proper hit me in the chest and mm -hmm. sort of dropped to my knees and I had my hands tied, tied behind my back and I was like, <clears throat> And the first AD came over, he's like, you okay? I'm like, yep, yep, no, I'm good. I'm not, not, not going to show any pain to Van Dam. And I stood up <laughs> and then he takes his glasses off. He turns to me and goes, it's okay, it's a controlled kick. <laughs> I'm like, there was nothing controlled about it. You kicked me in the chest. 100% <laughs> just got kicked by Van Damme. <laughs> but I, felt, I honestly felt honoured. Uh, you know, if you're going to get kicked by someone, that's a pretty good person to be kicked. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kickboxing buddy. world champion. <laughs> you know him? You've, done, you've worked with him? I, I do not know him. Not really. You? He's, he's been, uh, I encountered him once. You, you were on the show? He was I'm on the show? Sure, I'm not sure if he's ever been on this show, yeah. but I've, I've encountered him. He said another great... <laughs> <laughs> between between that, the controlled kick line, and this, I worked with him for four days or something. That the other thing he said to me, he came up to me at one point and he took his glasses off again. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. Well, he wore these glasses through the whole scene. He came over and took his glasses off and looked at me. He's, you have a good face. <laughs> glasses back. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks for that. That's awesome. But uh, doesn't Jennifer Lawrence do a similar thing on The Hunger Games before acting? Yeah, yeah. She was probably worse. She, she often, right before a take, would turn to me and ask me if I liked having sex with kangaroos or <laughs> anything along those lines, you know. Just you never really know what's going to come out of her mouth. <laughs> and, and your answer was? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> That's what Australians do. Yeah. <laughs> Australian and proud. <laughs> oh. uh, now, I don't know if either of you... Do either of you do Instagram? The Instagram-y thing? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I do a little do you, bit. Do you follow, do you follow bit, him on the Instagram? I do a little bit. I I've, haven't encountered... Oh, no. following he's him not, is exhausting. Really? <laughs> I don't have time to look at his Instagram. I don't know how you have time to do everything you do on the Instagram. Yeah. But you post pictures of the time you get up. <laughs> Which is crazy. It's like four o'clock in the morning. You guys. Yes, I used to do that. So for the past couple of years, I would get up at like 345 and I get all my work in and then we'll go to set because we got to be on set very, very early hours. Um, and then I started snap taking a picture of it and say, hey, I'm getting up now, I'm getting ready to do this, <coughs> whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then it wound up becoming this thing like a like um like a popular thing you know so fans there's a lot of fans who found a lot of inspiration out of that oh great i i don't want to wake up when you wake up but i do want to wake up early but people can and, wake up with you. well i was just going to say and yeah. then that morphed into an idea that we had um and we created an app and the app is called the rock clock yeah rock yeah. clock yes rock clock yeah yes careful how you say it but um <laughs> <laughs> Say that fast. Yeah. Right, what's your clock? It's when you get up, do your st stuff, get your homework done, do your anchoring. Yeah, so basically we created this app. It's called The Rock <laughs> Clock, and you can put in your goals, and it will help you achieve your goals. You can put in the time you wake up, and then it has a little special feature that uh, allows you to wake up with me. 
I love that. I get well, my, I, I'm disciplined. I get all my stuff done early on. In the morning, right? I work out, I play piano, I do my piano. Well, stuff. I downloaded it, and I, last night, this is true, last night I, I set my rock clock. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and this morning, could I turn that thing off? No. <laughs> Thing, by the way. So one of the cool things is it doesn't have a snooze button. No, it doesn't. You cannot, you cannot snooze. You have to get up. I was just like, shut up! <laughs> so this is it. This is it. So uh, go on here, and there are all these different alarms. Yeah. So, uh, so this, the, the cla this is what I had. So I woke up this morning. I could not turn this oh, off. Oh, this is the good one. Yeah. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 oh boy. beep. I can do this all morning. <laughs> beep, beep, and he beep. was. It went on for so long. Yes, it just know. continues. A good one is Good Morning Sunshine. Well, that's you singing. Yes, this is a good one. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> yeah, that's what the rock just said. <laughs> Open your eyes up. Get your candy that's my ass favorite out of <laughs> I get up to that. And then the other cool feature is it allows me to uh, shoot videos and they'll get downloaded to your phone immediately. So when you wake up at four or five or six or seven in the morning, you have a video message from me. Okay, do you, do you want to do one? We should do one? absolutely do one right now. And I think if you guys want to do one with me, I'll do this and then I'll turn it to you guys and you guys can wake up oh. millions of people. <laughs> cool. All right, here we go. Okay, here we oh, go. There you go. There we go. All right. All right, what's up, everybody? Rock Clock users, here with Jeff, here with Liam. You want to say good morning? Beep, beep. <laughs> beep. <laughs> good morning, sunshine. And there's Graham Norton. Hey, hello. And so here's the best part about it all, everybody. Here's the audience. <laughs> Wake up, rock clock. Excellent. Well done, you. Well done, audience. Very good. Wow. Good job, Excellent. <laughs> uh, let's meet my final guest. This is an extraordinary woman. She has made history by becoming the first female boxer to win world, Olympic, Commonwealth, and European gold. And now she's hoping for a knockout in Rio. Please welcome Nicola Adams. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. You put yourself there, Nicola. Oh. Wow. You see, you would normally look quite you know, tough, but hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can move back a bit. You've oh, moved, good, you've good. Moved very far away. <laughs> she's not going to. She's not going to hit you. <laughs> there is no boxing ring here. <laughs> Congratulations, because you've just won the, the world. Yeah. Yeah. Which Three is silver great. medals. It's about time I got the gold. Yes. Well done, you. <laughs> and of course, you're you're off to Rio to the Olympics. Jeff was saying he's got an Olympic connection. My wife went to the Olympics for Canada. She's a rhythmic gymnast, uh, you know, ribbon in the ball. And she was the Pan American champion. There she is. There she is. Yeah, oh, she wow. was the Pan American wow. champion. Wow. That's probably her in the uh, Olympics. Yeah. Awesome. How about that? Wow. Yeah. wow. That's something. But she, she's quit now. She, well, Nicola she, won't meet her in, in Rio. Uh, no, she's not going to be in the Olympics. She does like Cirque du Soleil stuff. She does like contortion, wow. aerialist stuff like wow. that. Wow. <laughs> okay, you've just drifted into a reverie there, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the goal of the world, that's got to give you such confidence heading off to Rio. With oh, your, you know. Massive confidence. I got the European, European gold a couple of weeks before that, got the world gold. And now I'm going for the triple. And does that kind of, when you get, I don't know how boxers prepare for matches, but is that kind of half the thing done for you? Because the others will assume they're going to lose. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, I've never thought about it like that, actually. <laughs> Well, I just say, if I was getting into the ring with you, I would think, well, I'm a goner. Uh, she's, <laughs> she's won every medal known to man. <laughs> Clearly, she's going to beat my head in. <laughs> but now, obviously, the female boxing is, is new uh, to, to most of us. It, it's, it's new. I didn't realise that it was actually banned in this country till, was it 1996? Yeah, yeah. But why did they ban it? Did something bad happen? Oh, well, 
<laughs> See, the story is where um, women are actually too unstable when we have the menstrual cycle, apparently, for, <laughs> for boxing. <laughs> wow. Because wow. yeah. Mike Tyson, steady. See, so steady. I mean, yeah, like, <laughs> hold this baby, Mike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, they, seriously. So seriously, MPs seriously. banned females from boxing because it would be too erratic and crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Have you found that to be true? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like my face where it is, please. <laughs> you know, because now it's lovely, I think, and you must... Is this in your mind that you are opening doors for young girls who had no inspiration, who had no one to inspire them to, you're there for them now. Yeah, it's really good. I, I, I love going to schools and inspiring the girls and, and, the, and the boys as well to get involved in boxing. But um, I think it's nice for me as well to have, um, when I was younger... Because how old were you when you started? I was 12. OK. So my, my inspiration was Muhammad Ali. You know, I saw him, I saw the reruns of him going to the Olympics, winning a gold medal, then turning pro and when becoming a world champion. So he was my inspiration, but there was no female boxers for me to look up to. So I guess now um, the girls will have female boxers to look up to as well. Yeah. And of course, very sad news last weekend when Muhammad Ali died. And I know, uh, Dwayne, because you had a really long connection with Muhammad Ali. Um, yes. So um, my dad used to box too as well and sparred with Ali and Foreman. Then he got into pro wrestling. And uh, when I was a kid, I had the opportunity to hang out with Ali when I was six. I think you posted a picture. There yeah. you are. Oh, my God. <laughs> isn't that that's so special, isn't it? That's amazing. It was, it was very cool. And, and then when I became a rookie in the WWE, um, I saw him again. And I went just to go say hello and pay the respects. And he kind of pulled me back and um, got in my ear. And he, he whispered to me, he's like, can you rumble? <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I, yeah, I, I think I can, I, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then a really cool thing, so, you know, as you know, um, and many of you may know, he became the people's champion. Like, that was a moniker, right, that he had. So, I, in wrestling, I just started calling myself the people's champion when I was a bad guy. Uh, in honor of him, but I didn't let the crowd know that. So, finally, his family came to Louisville, Kentucky, where we were wrestling one night. And a big family came. And I saw his wife, and, and I said, hey, I just, I meant no disrespect. I, it, it's all out of respect that I was calling myself that. And he goes, no, 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 Muhammad told me to tell you he loves it, and he wants you to have the name. I was like, wow, yeah, it was really, really cool. It was really cool. So when he passed away, obviously, you know, like a lot of us, I was very devastated. But really, I, I just got to say, it's such a cool thing what you're doing, and I, I love boxing, and especially women's boxing, and the ground you're breaking is so cool. So congrats. Thank you. Yes. There's a strange thing, just because when Muhammad Ali died and we knew you were coming on and that... But then we found out that, Jeff, you talked to him. He was a, a fan of yours. He, well, I don't know about that, but he, he, I, I met him at some event and uh, I went, I said, I, I have to meet him. And so I went up and uh, I said, I just have loved you my whole life. It's just wonderful to see you. He says, Jeff Goldblum, he said, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what do, what do you mean, the fly? Yeah. <laughs> he said, don't be surprised if someday I come and knock on your door. I want to come visit you. <laughs> I said, anytime you want, champ, I love you. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, when are you uh, off to Rio? When do you actually get on the plane and head away? Um, we actually go the 25th of July, I think it is. OK. Well, listen, we so hope, wish you well, yeah. and we've every confidence we'll bring back the goal. Uh, Nicola Adams, everybody. performance tonight. This Brit Award-winning artist's debut album went straight to number one. He's here tonight performing his new single, Magnetize. It's Mr. Tom O'Dell! <laughs> See those boats going across the sky 3,000 miles they fly How do they know which way to go Somehow they always seem to know They say there's more than nature in everything we see Wish I had a little more of a nature in me A little more of a nature in me Cause it's not
Well done, you. And uh, very exciting. The second album's out today. Yes. 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 And it's right. called Wrong Crowd. It's called Wrong Crowd. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say that you and I and Nicola, we're quite normal-sized people, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> you three are giants. <laughs> Making me look short on my no, first it, TV it, show. Yeah. <laughs> no, like it makes you look like, you know, pe people in Europe don't eat <laughs> enough. <laughs> There's no meat in our diets. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, scurvy. Um, <laughs> now, sometimes, sometimes, when there's a rock and roll type like Tom coming to the show, I think, I hope they don't oversleep <clears> and they show up late, but no danger of that, is there, Tom Adele? I, I've been known to be late on many occasions recently, and, um, Dwayne, your, your app is... It works. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. He seriously does have it. He's Thank got, he's got I, the I rock I seriously block. have it. I didn't just get it It'll because get you I, knew, up. I knew you on the show. I've had it for three weeks. And good morning, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm waking up with the rock every morning. It, yes. In, in your ear. Yeah. Me, me singing to yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't... Dr dreams come true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, though. Thank you, yeah. dude. I appreciate no, no, that. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. I don't mean to pry. Are you single? Um, uh... No, no, the only reason I ask... No, no, no. The only reason I ask is, as it was going off this morning, I was very glad there was no one else there, because they would hate you if, if you set the rock clock to do beep, 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 I could do this all morning for a long time. I get wives tweeting me all the time. Wives and husbands, too. Like, my wife is waking up with you. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's the only reason I ask. I have no interest in your personal life. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be married with children. I don't care. Yeah, I'm not married with children. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, but now you're yeah. telling us, stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that sort of show. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Live your life. Uh, now, uh, you are... You're going to Glastonbury. That's kind of the next big thing. Going to Glastonbury. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Can't wait. Is we... this your first time you were there last year? No, we did it in 2013. Oh, okay. And, um, I'd found out, like, 20 minutes before I went on stage that the album had gone to number one. And I was like, it was possibly the greatest... Yeah, man. That's oh, amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Well... Hopefully, you'll get the same news this year. Yeah. That, would, that would be yeah. nice synchronicity. And then the European and US tour starts in November. That's right, yeah. That is right. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Tom O'Dell, everybody. Thank you so much for coming in. Excellent. All right. Uh, just, time, just time for a quick story or two from the big red chair. Who is waiting? Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Buddy. Is he talking or not talking? I he's got to talk. Oh, he's got. Okay, he's got to talk. He okay. Talk. What, what's your name? Uh, I'm Alexi. Alexi, lovely and uh, a beautiful job. Very nice homage. Oh look! Oh, he's even got the tissue. <laughs> oh, well done, Alexi. Is there a story related to this? There is a story related to this. So last year uh, I went on a, to a Halloween party with some mates, and they said there's no way you can pull dressed as The Rock. So I obviously raised the challenge. Uh, showed up and I was the most electrifying man at the party. Um, <laughs> and luckily there was a girl there who was really into wrestling. She absolutely loved the look. And so I won the bet, so I just want to say thanks to The Rock for hooking me up. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, can we let him walk? You can't let him walk. Okay, he's not going. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, he was just about to get out of it. <laughs> he was just like, yeah, I got this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> We'll just wait for St. John's Ambulance to clear him, and uh, <laughs> uh, we'll talk to someone else. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, hello. And then... Uh, <laughs> and uh, what's your name? My name's Lauren. Lauren. Lovely, Lauren. And where are you from? I'm from Leon C in Essex. Big up Essex, no. <laughs> <laughs> Big up Essex, yeah. No, no, Leon C didn't really no. strike a chord with this <laughs> crowd. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, off you go with your story. OK, so coming home from work, really busy day, wearing a nice new little blouse, little V-neck blouse, got to the station, train was already in the platform, really panicky, must get on the train, holding my bag, running along the carriages, running along the platform, I really must get my seat, really must get a seat. Eventually, find a seat, sit down, really exhausted. Everyone's looking at me, I look down and I have got one breast hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Join us on the show and have a go in the red chair. You can contact us via our website at this address. And that is it for tonight. So please, a huge thank you to my guests, Mr. Tom O'Dell, <laughs> Nicola Adams, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> Liam Hemsworth, <laughs> and Dwayne Johnson. with music from Christine and the Queens, the new Ghostbusters lineup, which is Leslie Jones, Kate McKinnon, uh, Christian Wig, and Melissa McCarthy, plus the one and only Charlie Sheen will be here. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Well, if you want some more fun, you're in luck. You can make your way through the Angry Boys box sets. All the episodes are available to watch now on BBC iPlayer. Euro 2016 kicked off tonight with highlights as hosts France play Romania, match of the day next. Or you can press red now to watch Duran Duran's performance at the Eden Project. Yeah.